everybody, it's Mrs. Egan. Uh, I just wanted to take an opportunity to talk to you a little bit about process art. So um, within our early learning programs at Common Prairie, including the preschool, we focus on the process of creation instead of the final product. Uh, at this time, you're seeing lots of things floating around, spring crafts, holiday crafts, um, different things that you can make at home. And there's nothing wrong with making those things. Uh, however, it's a very different opportunity for a learner to create something that doesn't have an end product in mind. So uh, if we're following a template, using materials in a certain way, we've taken all of the creativity away from this experience. And especially for younger learners, sometimes that can become really frustrating. Um, and we want to see what an uh, individual's brain can do. We don't want to just watch them create the same thing as everyone around them. So one thing that we like to do at the preschool is give pretty much free reign to materials that we have on hand and then um, try to spice it up by offering some different things on different days. And uh, we do some modeling and we do have conversations as children create art, but we often just allow them to use the tools in whatever way they see fit and create whatever they like. I want to share some ideas with you today. So one thing you can do is uh, provide a variety of materials. So we have crayons here as well as colored pencils um, and we usually always have access to paint. Um, I figure that you probably have either one or all of these things available to you at home. So feel free to just put some different things out and see what your children do. A couple of tips, um, kitchen sponges work really well as tools to paint and also as uh, the place for you to dry your brush off before you uh, begin a new color. Um, these are actually trays that uh, I believe Veggie Burgers came in and they make great palettes for putting paint in. Those are reusable too. Um, and that's something that we do often at the preschool as well, is reuse things and talk about the sustainability of that. Um, we also sometimes will put out some still life inspiration. So I just have a bowl of lemons that I've been using for um, my daily hot tea. And sometimes we'll encourage the children um, to draw or paint those. So we do have uh, an opportunity for a child who is feeling like they don't really have a thinking brain for ideas and they maybe do just want to try to paint something that they see. Um, but for the most part, we just give them free reign. Tape is another thing that we love to see children use. Um, there's a lot of like, don't waste tape or um, let me do that for you. And so anytime you can grab some uh, masking tape or scotch tape for cheap, um, if you have a surplus at your home, just give your kids that tape and see what they do with it. It's really important for them, their fine motor skills, to be able to practice using it. And uh, they usually create really great things with it. Another thing you can do uh, to conserve paper is to cut the paper and create different sized uh, canvases. So just cutting the paper in half kind of switches um, the perspective for the final piece um, or even cutting it in quarters. Uh, this gives a smaller canvas and um, we like to provide smaller pieces for the children to paint. Sometimes that will encourage more intricate work um, with their brushes. Um, so I just wanted to take an opportunity to talk to you about that. Another great thing is using like the inside of cereal boxes. Uh, any box that you have, that cardboard can become a great canvas. So um, as we make less and less trips to stores, I encourage you to just think, what could we use for art today? Um, what could we allow our children to use um, in order to experience art in a different way and create something that is process-centered instead of product-based? Thanks for tuning in today. Hope to see you soon. Bye.